This is a beautiful mask from Gabon. Several societies in the Central African country of Gabon make white masks to celebrate idealized ancestors. And until the 1950s, these masks were worn during burial rituals. And this is a beautiful example. The lips still have some red pigment. The eyes are slanted. Uh, there are beautiful lines for the eyebrows and on the, between the eyes and the ears. And the coiffure is also very interesting. It's uh, flat braided hair that was in fashion in that uh, Punulumbo society at the end of the 19th century. So we can date the mask to that period, which is for African art fairly old especially for wooden art, because that often uh, disintegrates. And as you will immediately see, the introspective gaze and, and kind of slanted eyes resemble, are reminiscent of Japanese no masks. And I put a no mask next to it. And there were all kinds of theories in the past, one more crazy than the other, to explain the influence of Japanese on Gabonese art. One of the theories was that uh, Portuguese sailors in the 17th century had brought, who went to Japan, had brought some uh, Japanese artists to Gabon, why wasn't uh, specified, and that these uh, artists would have influenced uh, Gabonese traditions. But that's, that's not the case. Um, the no masks have nothing to do with the uh, white masks of Gabon. And here's a picture from the mid 60s um, where such a dancer is uh, performing on stilts. Still today, some of these white masks are being used no longer for burial rituals, but for entertainment.